Well, let's bring you some breaking news now. And Amanda Knox has uh, failed to overturn her historic slander conviction in an Italian court today. Joining me now is our Europe correspondent, Siobhan Robbins, with the details. So uh, uh, she's tried before and, and today she's failed uh, to uh, overturn her conviction. Yes, that's right. A very dramatic day in court for Amanda Knox. She'd been in court fighting this accusation of slander. Now, this relates to an accusation that she made during police questioning over the murder of British student uh, Meredith Kircher, who, of course, was found stabbed to death in 2007. Now, you'll remember that initially Amanda Knox and her boyfriend were found guilty of that murder... Uh, they were later cleared, totally exonerated of it in 2015. But this final legal case has been hanging over her because during police questioning following the murder, she accused a Congolese bar owner of committing that crime. Uh, and after that, she was accused of slander. Now, uh, a European court said that the police questioning uh, during that point where she signed two police statements making this allegation against this bar owner, um, had infringed her human rights. And because of that, an Italian court of appeal overturned the initial slander conviction. So the case was retried, and today she was hoping to be cleared. And ahead of the verdict today, she addressed the court in a written statement saying, I'm sorry that I was not strong enough to resist the pressure of police I didn't know who the murderer was. I had no way of knowing. And the court had been told to ignore those two signed statements and focus purely on a statement that she made uh, in the days afterwards, saying that she'd been under intense pressure, um, that she hadn't been given an interpreter, for example, is what the European court found, um, that she hadn't been given legal advice at that point, and saying to only focus on this other statement that she'd made, where she said that she couldn't fully stand by what she'd said. Well, it seems that the jury and the judges have upheld the original conviction of slander. They have sentenced her to three years. The reality of that is that that sentence has already been served, so she won't be going back to jail. But a very difficult day for Amanda Knox, who was hoping this would be the end, the final legal stain to be removed.